what's going on everybody it's your boy tops back at it again with another banger video for you guys today man uh, i just want to say good night good morning good afternoon good evening whatever time you're watching this man i hope you guys are doing well but in this video today man we're going to be talking about the air jordan 6 olympics uh, what can i say man it's a gem it's a gem it's shady y'all yeah, we're going to be talking about the Air Jordan 6 Olympics. I think it's a nostalgic sneaker. Pretty much, we haven't seen this shoe in a very long time. I'm probably, what, 2012 or something like that? And, you know, you guys can correct me in the chat if y'all want to. But, you know, I'm just talking from the top of the dome because I, this, these videos I do would be freestyling, bro. So just because of that, y'all should hit the like button. And if you're new around here, you already know, man. Hit that subscribe button, man. And Jordan's Top 12 family, bro. Yeah. I appreciate you guys coming through. Thank you guys for watching the Nike Air Up Temple or the Nike More Air Up Temple. Make sure you guys check that video out of the Olympic joints. Super dope video. In my opinion, these shoes are like equally favored to me. They're two different tile types of sneakers used in different times and different eras. So you can't pretty much compare them at the time. So with that being said, thank you guys for tuning in. Let's go ahead and get into the video. We do have a unique box, which is pretty dope in my opinion. You got a lot of fireworks going on, you know, a lot of like rectangles and triangles and all kinds of angles. You feel me? But pretty dope, predominantly upper or like a what we like to call a bone white upper or something like that. And you got that navy bottom on the shoe box. I'm pretty sure you guys seen all this, man. This this, this part right here of the video, I'm pretty sure is boring. And y'all probably like skip, 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 skip every time. But we got the Air Jordan 6 Retro, white varsity red. It's crazy because like the shoe only has like hints of red. Like it's on the box. Like you get, uh, I don't know if you guys see that, but if you guys are wondering, should you cop or not? This shoe is part of history, man. So it's definitely, you know, if you're an OG, depending on what type of collector you are or a sneaker consumer, I believe in my opinion, that they deserve to be in a lot of people's uh, sneaker collection. And bam, here you guys have it, man. The Air Jordan 6 Olympics. What can I say? It's a dope, unique sneaker, all right? Your navy blue bottom with that icy pods. Predominantly white on the upper, which is a yeah, crazy, hey, don't step on my kicks type deal. Did y'all know that the game whoop somebody's ass in these right here did he get a gold medal for it we can react to it and see what what went down with that and let me tell you something i thought it was pretty dope and actually he signed the shoes and sold them to somebody over on the other side of the pond let's go ahead and take it let's check this out also there is like foul language in my opinion i really don't care but if you know if you a young buck just uh mute it real quick just a little disclaimer oh my yeah yeah oh my yeah let's go they call on the pillow huh yeah huh you want to put a nigga on the internet now nigga huh you want to put a nigga on the internet huh huh Oh, so the person he was whooping on is 40 Glock. All right, cool, cool, cool. Or something like that. I, I don't know. I'm not with him, though. I don't follow this whole gang stuff, but. Fuck ass, nigga. Let it go. Chuck. Chuck, let it go. Check him out. Let it go. No, no, no. Nigga. Let's go. And it could be another one, boy. Oh. Oh, man. Violence. Let it go. No, no. Let it go. And it could be another one, bro. Let it go. 
See, this is what's good about the good old days. I'm pretty sure this happened a while back. I'm not sure 100%. Maybe if you guys do know and hip, are hip to this situation here, let me know in the comment section how, how, how far back does this go? Like, what year was this? <coughs> Look, hey, he rocking the Olympic sixes, though. The Olympic sixes. He got them hoes on feet, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, this is a dope sneaker, bro. The game is rocking him. You know what I'm saying? And he's not just a... Uh, he's a sneaker head Like he rocks sneakers He knows his shit Like he knows what he got on feet There's a lot of people out here that got money A lot of artists out there that got money They rock sneakers and they don't know what they They just know they got a pair of Air Jordan 6 In a dope colorway On their feet You know what I mean One thing is about knowing what you got on And another thing is Knowing what you don't got on But you just wear it because it's flat There's nothing wrong with that But I'm just saying You know what I mean what, nigga? No, his bitch ass gonna call the police, nigga. That nigga fucked my sixes up too, nigga. Damn. Blood all on my shit, man. Damn. And that was the era where you had the flat laces on these. These came with the oval laces on them. But we're gonna get into it, man. Definitely, we're gonna go ahead and look into this real quick. He got blood on his Olympic sixes, man. Damn. Mm. Bitch ass nigga. Fuck that nigga, nigga. Story behind, you know, history. Olympics? The game whooping on 40 Glocks, but did the game get a gold medal for doing that? I don't know. Leave a comment down below. What do you think? If he received a gold medal from the streets, you know what I mean? A gold medal from the streets. And bam, right there, man. He got he got blood right there on the side mid guard right there. Bam, bam. Damn, that sucks, man. Especially if you get it on the stitching right there. If you get that on the stitching, get some blood on the stitching. That's crazy. That is super crazy. Like, it's going to be hard to take off, right? But with that being said, man, we got the Air Jordan 6 Olympics. My thoughts on this pair right here, this release right here, amazing. They went, they went beyond with trying to stick with the OG nostalgic Air Jordan 6 Olympics. All right, from what it looks like here, the, the first launch of the Air Jordan 6 Olympics was in 2000 with the Sandy Summer Olympics. This is the Air Jordan 6 colorway. wasn't worn on the court by Michael Jordan, but instead of by the likes of the team, USA Ray Allen and Vin Baker. This style will be then taking a hiatus until 2012 London Summer Olympics, where it returned with a new, with a few new changes. All right, a few new changes. So here you have it, man. You got a rat, uh, Ray Allen rocking these joints on court. So basically who debuted this was Van Baker and Ray Allen, the GOAT. To me, Ray Allen is the GOAT, bro. The, bro, that man can just, he can wet some things. You know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comment section down below if you agree with me or not. You know what I mean? Ray Allen, I believe. It, it, we, we could get a, a little into a little bit of a NBA discussion. I think... Ray Allen is a way better shooter than Reggie Miller. In my opinion, that's just my opinion. Let me know in the comment section down below if you agree or disagree with me. But the Air Jordan 6 is a iconic, I guess we considered it a OG now because they released in 2000. So they came out in the Summer Olympics of Sadie Summer Olympics, uh, Sandy, excuse me, Summer Olympics. And then in 2000, and then they come back. 12 years later in the summer olympics of london in 2012 and then of course we fast forward all the way to 2024 and now we get the air jordan 6 olympics in 2024 man for the paris joints now when it comes to this shoe right here i think it's a unique shoe leather upper you got that tumble and all that good stuff They're pretty much a dope sneaker i did try these on as you guys can see they have like pretty much how I would lace my Air Jordan 6. Uh, I don't lace them all the time like this, but I like to lace them like this. This is one of my favorite styles. The shoe does come defaulted like this, as they should, okay? And I did try them on to give you guys my opinion on the fitment of the shoe. And basically, let me tell you something. Fitment is amazing. It's not the most uh, the most comfortable shoe, but shout out to Nike for putting in a Dream Soul insoles on these shoes right here. But as you guys know, if you guys been collecting shoes and or if you this is your first one, Jordan Brand likes to put a cardboard 
uh, insole inside, right? It's a cardboard insole inside and it makes it super uncomfortable. So that's why you should have a proper insole in them because of the insole inside the footbed is basically a piece of cardboard. Superstructure shoe, as you guys can see, a Ray Allen was balling in these. So back in the days, they had to make a shoe that was really good structure without being a sewn in outsole to the upper of the shoe. Is it worth a cop? Hell fucking yes. This is a dope shoe. Sneaker of the year. Nah, it's not the sneaker of the year, but it's definitely top 20, right? Top 20 sneakers so far released. Even though these shoes are sitting everywhere right now, everywhere, I still think is a dope sneaker. Just because they didn't sell out, in my opinion, I think this shoe does not deserve like, a, oh, it's a brick, this, that, and the third. Nah, man, there's history behind this shoe. There's gold medals won behind this shoe. So shout out to USA, America. You already know, man. But yeah, man, let me know in the comment section down below. Did you guys cop? Did you guys drop? What do you guys think? What is your opinion? Did you really even care about this colorway right here? Did you even know that this shoe was dropping? I knew this thing was dropping a while back and I was super excited. I was like, oh, that's crazy. With that being said, thank you guys for tuning in. I do have a pair of the wet cement coming in. That's probably going to come out next weekend. Every, uh, I believe every Saturday or Sunday, I will be dropping a video over here in the channel and eventually we'll be going live once I have the opportunity to go live. But dope shoe. I'm glad to have these in my possession. You already know, enjoy the on feet. I hope you guys enjoy the B-rolls and all that good stuff throughout this video, man. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button as well. Leave a comment down below. And you already know, it's your boy T-O-P-Z. And we out, man. Y'all stay safe out there. Peace.